all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome back to the channel. We've got some more warning up on deck. Care of Gerald Efferson, of course. And this is 21st Century Blood. Ugh. I'm not sure if that's going to be gruesome or just awesome as usual. Well, yeah, we do. We know it's awesome as usual. But it has been a minute since we've done the warning. So let's get back into it. If you like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. And without further ado, let's check it out. These guys talking back and forth to each other. Okay, so either they have the Neuralink chip implanted in their brain and they don't need to look at each other anymore, or uh, they're just giving the warning of the future because this is kind of what it's like now. You know, you go to a restaurant and you see people sitting there texting on their phones instead of like, hello, you're out to dinner with each other. I have a feeling that that's exactly what this is. This is what we've become, just a society of screen addicts. So catchy. Yep. Oh, he's waking up.
Okay, so when was this written? They look younger there. This song is good. So at first I was thinking, okay, the reality is too much for him. So he jumps and then he is putting his life on the line. He's laying his life down to wake up the masses. But then he wakes up off the ground maybe and he realizes that that wasn't reality. So then you could get into the whole, we are living in the matrix or uh, an alternate reality or this world isn't real and we're all just part of a video game. I mean, there are so many different branches you could go off of on this one. But as I've mentioned in other reactions, I love the fact that they are standing up and warning their own generation and not just their generation, but our generation, the older generations, the younger generations, but I think specifically their generation to the dangers of getting sucked into that screen and everything that comes along with it the you know comparing yourself to others the what's new what's trendy what kind of face looks good now and how to achieve that by pumping it full of fillers and botox when you're in your 20s so you never get wrinkles there's no bottom to that it's like you're on it you're going to be on a hamster wheel if you even try but they clearly were raised right with a level head on their shoulders by wonderful parents who were able to not only help their daughters in something that they loved and getting them involved with music and supporting them, but helping them to stay aware and they don't seem to have been brainwashed the way so many other people have been. Okay, I just looked, this was seven years ago. These girls are on top of their game. <laughs> If Pow was the one who was writing even back then, they were aware of this stuff at such a young age. And that's pretty rare, I think. And I think it does start at home. It does start with the way that you're brought up. They have been shown the importance of what really matters. And that is certainly not what is on your screen because everything that's on your screen needs to be taken with a grain of salt and you need to do your own research. I mean, if we as adults have trouble with addictions to our phones, then what hope do these young children with developing minds have when they are gr literally growing up their entire childhood with cell phones and computers? As many pros as there are to technology, there are huge negatives. And we're seeing it in uh, the younger children today, more depression, more anxiety, more unhappiness. But I think the warning is reaching those kids, which is really cool. Hopefully we will realize before it's too late. So thank you for this request. I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.